this vintage uh, unit from the 90s perhaps it's a Panasonic so CD player radio and cassette the CD player is keeping like crazy but there's one weird fix if I tilt it forward no more skipping at all if I put it back gently Now there's two possibilities, uh, there is a warm screw that may get sticky because it has all grease in it but I did clean it and then did lubricate it properly. Uh, so that's not the problem. The problem in my situation is that you see this plate which actually keeps the CD when it's spinning, it has damping on it. But because they start sagging with age, perhaps you can see that this area is sitting lower somehow than on that corner. So it starts getting low and at that moment when the CD is spinning it's touching the, st the solid surfaces the surfaces that are not dumped that are not on the springs so the CD may just rub very very slightly around these areas here where it's spinning just very slightly at the beginning obviously as it is going to get older is going to sag even more and that point is going to stop working altogether you need to remove this cover you need to find the screws i'm not going to show you the screws on mine because uh, every model is different obviously uh, these uh, portable units had quite high than screws like it's uh, it's a kind of a maze you need to find the screws on this the cover itself had two screws inside, two screws underneath the handle basically and um, this gives you access to the mechanism itself. Again, you can see it. these are the dampers, basically these are the springs, there's like tiny springs and there's also a rubber piece. There's one, two and there's a third here. Now I can tell you uh, on this model I believe this is a single use, it has a locking pin inside in the center so the worker the factory would insert that pin <clears throat> and um, basically it's one a single use pin so you cannot remove these dampers at least on this model. If you try to remove it you are going to break it, it's up to you basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump this because this the idea of this mechanism is when there is vibration maybe you are dancing like crazy in, in your room and the floor is vibrating and you, the whole unit is vibrating so it, they don't want to the, the cd to be vibrating at the same time that's why they put this dampening uh, so you normally you shouldn't be needing that so if this thing is fixed is rigid should be a problem uh, so what i'm going to try is i'm going to try to insert a few papers a piece of papers and i'm going to lift this thing at the top just force it to stay at the top so let's see this is at the lowest but i'm going to keep it at the top at all corners so it's uniform it's uh, level and i'm just going to keep it rigid at the top let's just give it a try so because the dampers are quite fairly to align and uh, actually you need to have the unit very very level what i'm going to do i just grab the big piece of paper you may want to give the right thickness so just maybe fold it a few times up to you to uh, kind of figure out uh, how much you need it and if you slide your finger underneath underneath the assembly just behind it not at the front at the front there's no space basically you'll see that there is the uh, electronic plate and underneath there is kind of a gap so i'm going to just slide this underneath and you need to kind of Let's see how to close the handle. You need to kind of push it all the way to be really underneath the whole unit, not just on the side because it's going to not be level at that point. So let's uh, just figure out how much you should push it, where you should push it. I can see over there and then see if it kind of stays more upright, upright, but also level. You may want to do a test. For the audio test you need to install uh, all this with the cover but I didn't put back the rest just power it up and make sure you don't touch with your finger also don't touch that lens in there so um, never touch this lens never try to clean it up either just just don't touch it so you don't smear it with grease 
Um, also, when you close the lid, you will see the digits with the duration appearing. It should take no more than maybe five seconds or so between the moment you click the lid and the moment you see the digits. If it's longer than that and you can hear the thing spinning inside and you don't see the numbers here, it's a problem. You cannot read it properly, so you didn't do the fix right. So let's just close. Wait for digits to appear. Five, six seconds. I don't know how much. So you should see this. So let's just play back. Now, obviously, this is a video. Obviously, I can put in the video whatever I want, isn't it? Uh, but I have to tell you something. Let's just stop it. It's not going to be a fix, a five minutes fix. You will need to readjust that piece of paper in many ways until you get the proper non-skidic positions. By the way, the, the unit is sitting flat on the table, so I'm not tilting it anyway. Anyhow, uh, so uh, you will need to adjust that piece of paper in a you will need to do many, many tries before uh, reaching a good result. Also, you see the lens is there, but there is a gap in here. You can just grab it and just move this piece around, uh, see if the gap stays even and find the position where it's not skipping. So it's definitely fiddly. The word that describes this is fiddly. You will have to adjust it, so to speak, until it plays right. Don't expect uh, two second results, five, five minute sec uh, results. It's not going to be that way. I'm not uh, fooling you. Uh, you know, there are many people on internet who just edit a video very fancy and say it was so easy. Give it a try. I think it's worth trying. I don't, I could not find those dampers replacement ones on internet. Maybe they exist, but there are many models. So it's, it's just not worth trying that way. This may fix you, uh, your unit for uh, for nothing, basically, without replacing anything. And it may just be fun listening to see this again. Who knows, maybe you are watching this in 2050. If there was no nuclear uh, war, nothing, Putin was, uh, um, got quiet all of a sudden, who knows. All right, thanks for watching and thanks for your assistance too.